Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. Today we are going to talk about most important topic EMAS Engineering Material Arresting System. It is an advanced installation used to arrest and restrict the plane on runway threshold and to reduce the risk of ground overshoot. Let us see what it is and how it works. EMS uses a specifically installed surface which quickly stops any aircraft that moves onto it. EMS can be installed at the end of some runway to reduce the extent and associated risk of any overrun of the end of runway compared to equivalent soft ground distance. It is possible alternative to runway and safety area RESA. Now you will say if this is so helpful then why it's not installed on every single runway around the globe. ECAO, the International Aviation Regulatory Body has not shown interest in EMAS. The reason is, due to early attempts at installing arrestor beds of gravel at the end of runway proved to create fire hazard comparable to that of an extended overrun. This was because the hard material thrown off from gravel bed tended to puncture wing fuel tanks and start a fire which was then very difficult to extinguish because leaking fuel seeped into gravel bed which ultimately feed fire from the below. But after SAS flight 901 overrun on landing at JFK in Feb 1984 became a catalyst for development of EMAS. The FAR and USF agreed to determine the feasibility of and develop criteria for design of soft ground arresting system on 21 December 1984. In 1989, FAR initiated an experimental program with US Naval Air Engineering Center to conduct experiments on soft ground materials. The purpose of experiment was to verify theoretical calculations of stopping distances. Tests were conducted on phenolic form and cellular cement with an fast Boeing 727 in summer of 1990. FAR Technical Center then conducted two successful full-scale arrestments using same Boeing 727 in 1993 using a phenolic form bed 207 meter long, 15 meter wide and 18 inches deep. The most significant early overall review of subject was 1993 FAR report on soft ground arresting system for airports. If you want to read it then I have provided link in description. As early as 1998, FAR issued the first generic specification for EMS design, installation and maintenance. Since then it has encouraged the first US manufacturer of a viable EMS system. Zodiac Aerospace is one who has developed its EMAS Max for more widespread civil use. Runway Safe has developed an alternative technology EMAS which also comply with FAR regulations. An EMAS installed in accordance with FAR specification is stated to provide a level of safety that is equivalent to 305 meter runway safety area. I have made a detailed post on FAR September 2012 circular on our Instagram. So do check it out, link is in description. The National Aviation Authorities have recently introduced or are actively preparing generic guidance for the approval of emails based on current FAR standards. National Aviation Authorities include those in Australia, UK, Canada, France and Spain. In China, where considerable use of EMS beyond the single airport equipped with US supply installed is envisaged, the China Academy of Civil Aviation Science and Technology CAST has overseen the successful development of an indigenous alternative product which meets FAR standard and CAAC approval for its use is expected to be given during 2015. The core application of EMAS have been seen as location where ground profile at the end of runway is such that consequence of landing overrun or a rejected takeoff initiated from high speed can cause serious damage to aircraft. The first EMAS were installed on runway 4R and 22L at New York JFK in 1996. Since then, by middle of 2018, EMAS had been installed at approximately 106 runway ends 
at 63 airports in USA. The first installation outside US were carried out at Zhuzhai, Hong Kong in China. Currently, by 2019, more than 110 runway on more than 70 US airports are EMS equipped. While there are 15 outside US installations, two in China, two in Madrid, one in Taiwan, two in Norway, one in Saudi Arabia, one in Switzerland, three in Overseas Department of France, one in Japan, and one in Germany. Talking about maintenance and repair of EMS, a standard design life of Zodiac Aerospace EMS is 20 years. Routine inspection and maintenance is important and restoration of a bed after over in use may take few days. It's time to install such safety equipment, especially on tabletop runway. Recently, the Air India Express flight 1344 crash due to runway overshoot has again started giving force to install such safety materials at runway end. We all know that everything has its own advantages and disadvantages, but the advanced EMS material has proven its worth and far outdated its disadvantages over its life-saving advantage to stop the aircraft very quickly. We will keep this decision to aviation expert and authorities. But if life is more valuable than money, please do install emails at least on tabletop runway. That was all for today. If you found this video informative, then do give us a like and share it to all our aviation friends. If you are still watching, here is your bonus. The Calicut Airport Director in 2018 has said that EMS technology was unsuitable for Calicut Airport. How can we bear the cost of 100 crore rupees for an imported technology? As EMS cannot be repaired, it needs to be replaced after overrun, then another 100 crore rupees bill. Due to its cost, its application is limited. But do you think 100 crore is more worth than lives of human? Do let us know in comment. And if you are new, then do subscribe to our channel. One more thing, Runway Safe is going to conduct a webinar on EMS and you can register in it. The webinar is on 25 and 27 August at US time. For more information, visit their site. I have provided link again in description. See you in another video with another interesting topic. Till then, keep learning, keep watching, stay safe.